All right, welcome to another crappie moment. We are fishing. Uh, a nice day today. May have some trouble with the weather. You know, these late summer thunderstorms that, you know, happen all the time. We've got an overclad, overcast uh, sky uh, today. Really, really cloudy. Uh, but we are here on the lake. We're gonna have a good time today no matter what. We'll see if we can put some fish in the boat. We'll talk about the fall transition. That's what we want to talk about today. It's still late summer, uh, so fall's not here yet, and the transition, at least where I'm at, is not happening yet, but it is coming, and it will be coming really, really soon. So we want to talk about the fall transition today. We'll get into that in just a minute. If you haven't hit that subscribe button, hit that subscribe button for me. Um, smash that like button if you're enjoying the video. Leave me a comment. Uh, let me know that you're a new subscriber. Let me know what part of the country you're fishing in. Uh, comments and likes really help uh, the video, help the channel out a whole lot. Really appreciate all the support. Um, you know, using my ACC crappie sticks today. Uh, right now I've got a 16th ounce um, a jig with a, a two inch uh, Bobby Garland monkey milk color monkey milk super super popular uh, We're gonna toss that probably be changing the bait uh, as I usually do throughout the day um, We're gonna get out here see what we could do There he is Oh yeah <laughs> <Come here. laughs> Come here, you. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. There we go. All right, we're fishing nine feet right now. You just got these roaming fish just out here. You know, sometimes in groups of two, three. You know, sometimes in some small schools. Sometimes in big schools. But right now, I'm just seeing, you know, some kind of some Roman fish out here. Oh, there he is. Nice fish, got this uh, chartreuse jig, uh, electric chicken, inch and a half grub, paddle tail. All right, so let's talk about the fall transition. So as you get out of late summer and you're moving into fall in late September, uh, early October, uh, those fish are going to start to transition from their uh, summer uh, locations. So instead of being in those uh, deeper parts of the lake, um, they're going to start to move towards shallow water and they're going to transition first. And so what they're going to do from those deeper areas is they're going to start to move toward those shallower areas. So as they move from deeper, they're going to start moving uh, up into uh, those creeks. Um, they're going to start moving, uh, transitioning toward uh, the creek. So what they're going to do is they're going to move from those deeper waters toward those points at the mouths of those creeks. Um, those ledges at those points at the mouths of those creeks uh, where there is shallower water and they're slowly going to transition as we get into the fall uh, into uh, those creeks uh, chasing bait fish uh, into uh, even more shallow water into those creeks. Um, if you're on a lake that has weeds, the lakes that I fish over here don't have weeds. Uh, we don't have docks here, so we'll do any dock shooting. Uh, but if you're on a lake that has weeds, what you want to do is, as you get into the fall transition, you want to go to those weed edges that's adjacent to deeper water. 
So uh, if you have weed edges, uh, you want to get out on the edges of those weeds. Um, uh, crappie are going to transition from that deeper water to those edges of those weeds that's in a little bit shallower water. And so those crappie will hang out on those weed edges. So that's a good place to look if you're on a lake uh, that, that has uh, weeds. Um, so those fish are going to start transitioning. They're going to move from deeper into shallower water. They're going to slowly, they're going to, you know, in, in stages, they're going to slowly start to move into shallower water chasing uh, bait fish. So you want to start your transition from getting away from those deeper spots into uh, getting into the mouths of those creeks, those main lake points, those ledges that are uh, on, on shallower water. Uh, crappie will hang out on those ledges that may be in that 10, 15 foot range. And, and that ledge goes all the way up to eight, seven, six, five feet of water. So they could get out there, chase bait fish in that shallow water up against that bank, and then they could go back down to that ledge where they got some protection on that ledge. So uh, they're gonna start to transition into that shallower water and then they'll start ch chasing that bait fish down uh, into uh, further into those creeks where there's even more shallower water. So start that transition from that deeper water where you've been fishing, depending on where you're at in the country, from that 20, 25 feet of water, um, you know, 15, 20 feet of water, depending on where you're at, and they're gonna start to transition from that deeper water down to that 10 to 15 feet of water, and then the further you get in, they're gonna transition even shallower uh, than that. Another thing about the fall transition concerning your baits is that you want to think big. Uh, when it comes to uh, summer, as you've heard me say uh, and see me use, you want to downsize your baits for summer. But for fall, you want to think big when it comes to your baits. Um, so um, uh, that summer shad hatch has taken place. And during the summertime, those shad just hatch are smaller fish. And so, you know, as you've heard other others say all the time, match the hatch, is that that smaller shads, uh, those smaller shads during the summertime uh, uh, is important to downsizing your bait during summertime. But for the fall, when you get into the fall, those shad are bigger now. And so that's what those crappie are used to feeding on, is those shad that have grown. And so it's a bigger bait. So transition up to a bigger bait. So instead of using that one and a half inch crappie grub that I use uh, uh, during the uh, summer and late summer, you can go back to that two inch. You can use some of those crappie magnets and some of those uh, Charlie Brewer sliders that are two and a half, three inches. Uh, you can uh, uh, upsize your bait. So when you're thinking about bait choices for the fall, you want to think big as far as your your bait size so upsize uh, those baits you can upsize those baits can you catch fish on the smaller baits of course but generally speaking those shad are going to be bigger and so you want to try to match uh, what the crappie are naturally feeding on and so you want to upsize because those shad are bigger so upsize uh, your bait all right hope that helps you out uh, for the fall transition that's coming up uh, let's see if we can get some fish There we go. Get out of there. <laughs> All right. sitting in nine and a half feet water temperatures 82 degrees you got a couple sitting in this timber not right on the timber but around the timber there he is ah, come here you 
There we go. There we go. Ha <laughs> ha. There he is. Oh, yeah. There we go. Boy, he got that thing. Wow, get out of there. <laughs> All right. Go. He's hitting that electric chicken, Bobby Garland. There he is. All right, that's gonna do it for today. Appreciate you tuning in. Hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, don't forget that fall, uh, those fish are gonna be moving. They're gonna be moving off of that deeper water over to those adjacent uh, shallow, uh, shallow flats, those weed edges. If your lake has uh, weed edges, mine don't, as I mentioned that. Uh, they're gonna be moving uh, into the mouths, toward the mouths of the creek from those deeper waters as they slowly make that transition into shallower uh, water. They'll be chasing that bait fish. Um, so uh, they're gonna be uh, feeding up on bait fish, getting ready uh, for winter. Uh, so that uh, fall bite's gonna be exciting. Uh, so that uh, fall transition, as soon as the weather snaps and that water temperature starts to come down, uh, you're gonna start to see uh, the fish start to move if you haven't uh, started to see a little bit of a transition already. Uh, it's not happening here where I'm at, uh, but um, if you haven't done so, hit that subscribe button for me, uh, smash the like button, leave me a comment, um, leaving a comment and hitting that like button. Uh, take you just a second to do, uh, really, really helps the channel out. Uh, super appreciate uh, all y'all support. Uh, we're going to get out of here. We'll see y'all next time.